Uh, but John McAfee, big cr critic of the NSA, big promoter of liberty. Uh, he's done some tongue-in-cheek videos, uh, music videos with hot girls. That, that's some of his humor, folks. Uh, but like him or you know, love him, he certainly is an uh, American phenomenon. And uh, John McAfee, thank you for coming on with us. It was great going shooting with you here in Austin with the 50 Cal. You did a lot better handheld shooting that baby than I did. You looked like it was part of your body. Uh, me, I looked like an overweight goblin firing a cannon. Uh, but we'll maybe roll some of that in the background. You guys can Google John, John McAvee fires 50 cal. Uh, but, John, good to have you here with us uh, via video Skype. Uh, you're talking about running for president, or I've heard people are talking about you running for president. What's the real scoop, John? Well, um, people, a number of people have been, uh, been advising me to run, urging me to run. Um, my, uh, uh, my team actually filed today formally. Um, I, I'm still not convinced I would rather someone with more, um, uh, intelligence and, and charisma be the, uh, be the carrier of the banner here. But uh, I, I feel that the, uh, the, the government has failed us in, in many ways, Alex, and, uh, something has to be done about it, uh, whether it's me or whether it's someone else. Wow, so it sounds like you're 99% there. Did you just say, I mean, please, make a statement now. You are looking at filing and running for president officially. Uh, well, no, I, I said my, my advisors and my staff filed formally today. Uh, that's, I think that's a, a very subtle way of, of, of forcing me to do something. Um, the, um, I, I'm still undecided, Alex, and within the next 48 hours, I will, I will make a decision one way or the other. So there's your headline. John McAvee has filed for president, uh, but they're kind of like half pregnant now. We decide in the next 48 hours if indeed that's going to happen. Uh, well, again, it, 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 it has been filed. Uh, I have not decided. That is the truth of it. Okay. So basically, folks are trying to force your hand, but you're undecided. I am undecided. All right. Um, there, there, there are a bunch of reasons, obviously. Um, I am uh, a, quite a character in terms of the way the press portrays me. Um, and yet I, I speak what I see as the truth. Uh, I've, I've written a number of articles in the past uh, year uh, criticizing uh, both the U.S. government and foreign governments for invasions of privacy, for uh, incompetence in terms of understanding the very society in which they're living in. Um, you know, we're... We're living in a cyber world now, a world based on technology that that uh, are certainly our current administration does not understand in the least. They, um, you know, they 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 propose uh, utterly insane concepts like um, uh, banning encryption. Encryption is nothing more than the the modern version of whispering in someone's ear. I can whisper in my wife's ear at dinner. That's okay. But I can't I can't whisper to her over the internet because that people want to make that illegal. Uh, they want to put back doors in software uh, that will make uh, make it a thousand times easier for hackers to get in and, and steal your data, which is happening all the time. I mean the 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 hack of the Office of Program Management uh, in the U.S., which put literally millions of of of, of covert uh, U.S. agents at risk to put their lives at risk. Uh, utter incompetence, and it shows a total lack of understanding of the technology uh, which underlies this entire society, Alex. Well, break down your presidential platform if you do decide to run, if you feel that you are basically being forced to because of uh, the developments towards tyranny. I mean, in your own words, what would you do uh, as president within the con constitutional constraints versus if you were king for a year, what would you do? I would, do, I would do something totally different if I were king for a year, I'm sure. Um, I think my, my, first, my first priority would be privacy, Alex. You know, we, we have none anymore. Uh, the NSA is spying on us. The CIA is spying on us. All, all 16 government covert agencies uh, have technology that, that is beyond belief, that can listen to our phone conversations. Uh, just drive down the street in any city and look at the cameras. Thousands of them. You know, 15 or 20 per block, movable, uh, that can watch you as you as you are moving, can recognize your face. Um, we, we've lost it. And without privacy, what do we have, Alex? We don't have we don't have our humanity. Pri privacy is a choice. We choose what to reveal to people. 
uh, at uh, uh, the grocery clerk at the store. You might be comfortable saying, you know, hey, you know, I, I went fishing yesterday. Uh, but you're not going to tell them your deepest secrets. Every day, every moment when we meet someone, we choose the level of privacy that we wish, we, we, we wish to maintain. Uh, without that choice, what do we have? You know, we have, we have 1984. So your candidacy would be the opposite of 1984. You would attempt to what, bring in 1776? I would. I, I would like us to go back to the concept that the founding fathers had, which is freedom. Uh, you know, our freedoms are being removed because we were told if we, if we give up a few freedoms, uh, then we will have security and safety. But, you know, I'm 70 years old, and I can promise you there is no safety in life. And if there is, we have to provide it for ourselves. You know, the government cannot do it. An agency cannot do it. No outside party can provide security and safety for us. Uh, and by giving up the, the freedoms and the, 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 the rights that were given to us through the Constitution uh, and, and were ordained by the Founding Fathers are, are being eroded daily. Now, I, I'm not a politician, and people are going to found me for that. But, but politics, if you, if you look in, in Merriam-Webster, politics is merely the activities uh, and the policies that people use to gain power and keep power within a government. And, and isn't it politics that got us in the mess we're in now? Special interests, uh, people more concerned about maintaining their power, maintaining their position within government than in actually serving the American people. Uh, so I think we need to get back to the basics, get back to the purpose of government. You know, government is not here where I don't need a father. Uh, I don't need a mother. I, I don't need someone to tell me how to live. Uh, I can make those choices on my own. Well, I know this. If they're going to have eight or nine different Republicans up there, a bunch of them just total politicians, I would love to see a Jesse Ventura or a John McAfee up there with them, stirring it up like Trump's done. Because regardless of what you think about Trump, I think he has shaken up the political process. What's your view on Donald Trump? You know, I, I admire Donald Trump. I really do. Um, you know, he, 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 he makes common sense. Uh, he is not a politician. Uh, that's clear. Um, you know, if, if I have any fault with him at all, it's, it's uh, hey, what's with the hair, Donald? But, uh, <laughs> and I, I'm saying that in jest. But I, I admire Donald Trump, and I, I, think, I think that he has courage uh, to, to stand up and do what he's doing. You know, at first they say that he didn't have a shot, and, and I thought he might have been a shill for Hillary or Jeb or something, but I think he really wants to win, and his whole company's based on service industry. He won't do well in a depression. I think he's an old-fashioned entrepreneur and actually loves America more and more, and I think he's got problems, but I think he doesn't like seeing this country fall apart because the globalists wouldn't say make America great again and admit we were in trouble. A globalist candidate wouldn't do the things he's doing uh, admitting we're being invaded by illegals that we give free handouts to. I mean, that's why he must be for real, because even if he himself isn't, what he's saying is devastating to the establishment. Well, of course. Well, I, I think someone needs to say the things that he's saying, because really our, 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 our government has failed. I mean, it is, it is a dysfunctional government in, in every respect. Uh, and and when, when, a, when a government becomes dysfunctional, then all aspects of its services and all of its departments also become dysfunctional. Someone has to say it. I've been saying it for years. Uh, you've been saying it. Um, and uh, so I, I admire him for doing that. And, you know, don't, don't discount uh, sure. Trump. I, I think he's, he's going to be a very powerful player. Sure. Well, what it really shows, too, is that what he's saying is popular. In major polls, he's now beating Hillary. Which is what I've said, the average Democrat doesn't have a suicide wish for the country and want to be bankrupt. They're sick of political correctness. I mean, the Democrats of JFK were great people. Who are these new Democrats? And who are these Republicans that work with them? John McAvee may be running for president. He joins us now. We're going to come back and walk through some of the world events with him. The fun part about this job is I get to interview people like Ted Nugent and John McAvee. Hell, Ted Nugent's called in a few times before on the hotline and gotten in. But ever since his wife got arrested with a gun going to the Dallas airport, he's like, I'll come on later, Alex. Like, I got his cell phone number. I'm going to call Ted Nugent today and say, you're going to come on now, buddy. I know he got in a lot of trouble on the show for admitting that gun owners of America had put major heat on the NRA to make them more hardcore because he is a board member 
of the NRA. But that's why I like Ted Nugent is he's real. And I know nothing against the NRA. They used to be really bad 10 years ago. Now they're really good. We've got to radicalize the liberty movement because we face a radical globalist threat. Milk toasting, it won't beat it. John McAvee, what is the best website for folks to visit to find out more if you're about to run for president? Uh, I think uh, my, my people have McAfee16.com uh, as uh, the main website. Oh, really? Have you launched that yet? The, the, the website is up, yes. Oh, my gosh, um, McAfee16.com. Are we getting the exclusive? Because I hadn't heard this yet. Are you exclusively letting us know that you may, may uh, fly your flag and run for El Presidente? Well, I think I, I, I talked to a friend of mine at, at um, um, International Business Times, and one of, the, one, of my, one of my campaign people, I think, called him and, and leaked some information yesterday. But beyond that, yeah, you, I, I'm, you're the first person I'm talking to about the fact that I might, in fact, run. If I do run, by the way, you were talking about Donald Trump. I think uh, I, I would look very forward to debating Donald Trump. Um, he's certainly the most interesting and most intelligent of the candidates, and I think I think that debate would be fun for me. I'm a big um, fan of Rand Paul because I know he's for real. I just wish that it's not helping him to attack Donald Trump with his constituents, and then he's being too milk toast on the immigrant thing. I mean, John, I'm, I, you know, I mean, you're married to a black lady. You've lived all over the world. You're all for great immigrants. So am I. But should Americans have to pay for anchor babies and 40 million illegals? Should Europe? have to pay for the Middle Eastern refugees from war Saudi Arabia starts, but they won't take one refugee? Well, I, I think one of the other problems that, that we face here in America is that people are not taking responsibility for their own lives. Um, if I didn't want to work, for example, if I, I could, I could uh, make up some excuse for not being able to work and, and the government would give, would give me money. Um, there, there's something fundamentally wrong, not, not, with, not with helping people, but with, with creating the attitude that um, I don't have to worry about anything because someone will take care of me. It's like, uh, you know, living at home when you're 40. You know, you, your mom and dad will, will, will still take care of you and your mom will cook for you. Exactly. Um, These illegals, but also other deadbeats and people, I'm all for helping somebody with a broken back. They're like 40-year-old spoiled brats telling their mom to make them breakfast and dinner and wash their underwear. It's disgusting. That's what I'm so angry about is that people just expect all this while hardworking Americans of every race, color, and creed are going bankrupt, John? Well, but I, I don't think the problem is, is, is simply uh, immigrants. I mean, there are many natural-born Americans that, that are, are taking, taking advantage of the same system. I agree. Uh, so so uh, because America was actually founded on the concept of, you know, uh, give us your, if you're poor, your, if you're hungry, or if you're, your, uh, uh, you're judged, uh, and, and it worked pretty well. It's just that we're doing a very bad job of managing that. We're well, sure, we took the poor, the hungry, and put them into piratical, swashbuckling, hella situations, and a lot of folks died. And this was basically like an alien boot camp like Australia, a penal colony. But, but people weren't given anything. That's why we were the best, because we were tough as nails. Right. We, 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 again, we have to get back to basics. We are all responsible for ourselves, for our families, for our loved ones. Um, and we, 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 we must take back our own lives. We must take back our freedoms because many of those are missing now. We have sure. to take back our privacy because that's eroding at an alarming rate. I'm not sure any of it exists. I'm not sure that, that, that especially someone like you and I, uh, there's probably not a single conversation that you have that is not monitored by some covert agency. Of course, they admit it. We're going to go to break. I'm going to come back and give you the floor to really go through your platform and, 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 and be uninterrupted for about five, ten minutes. Then I want to maybe take some phone calls for you and cover some news if you're okay with that. But think about this. I want to come back and have and, and, and get your answer, John McAvee, uh, McAvee16.com. It's like being a kept woman, or I guess a kept man nowadays, rich women with boyfriends. Are you really free when somebody else controls your whole life and pays the bills? And that's what all this welfare state is about. I mean, this is about enslaving us. John McAvee is our guest. He has filed for president. Is he running? International Business Times just broke it in print today that he's looking at it. We're breaking it via the actual interview. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio I Network. I was quiet yesterday and let them scoop us. See how good I am? That's right. I'm sure I do the same shot. thing with my target. I, I'll, I'll hit it point blank every time. I'm sure every shot is going to be a success. Perfect. That's perfect. right.